just on the way to work. Um, I don't really have a video to make per se. This video instead is about making video. Um, in a sense. What I'm really thinking about today is <clears throat> how I can, I don't know, motivate myself um, to actually make video. Um, I, I feel like I make this video every few years, <laughs> just basically saying, yeah, I I haven't done anything for a while, blah, 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 blah. And, um, what I don't understand about myself is that, um, I know how to do it. Um, I'm, you know, relatively competent. Um, I have the basically everything I need to do it, but more often than not, I just don't do it. Um, and I'm not entirely sure why. It's very warm this morning. A little bit muggy. Um, so anyway, I figured I, what I would do is just throw the camera on, throw the mic on, and just, I don't know, talk. Maybe by the time I get to work, I'll have a moment of clarity and some kind of um, insight into what's actually uh, what's actually going on. Because I don't believe. Um, that it's outside things that would prevent me from making a video. Because, you know, even though it's low effort or, you know, whatever, I could just make videos on my phone. And then there's your sound, uh, there's your, obviously your video. Also, you know, I've got CapCut, which most people, if you have Instagram or maybe not Instagram, but definitely TikTok or YouTube Shorts. Cap Cut's a free um, video editing program that has a lot of pretty, I almost said powerful, like I'm reviewing it. But it kind of is. I mean, if you, if you don't know how to do a basic video editing, Cap Cut can make your stuff look pretty good. Um, they even have uh, like um, AI assisted uh, text to voice, which um, if you ever saw the short that I did of just, um, I did a video of just songs that, uh, you know, my favorite songs, no big deal, it's just a, something to do and throw out. But all of the band names and song names uh, were spoken by like a little kid. And obviously, I don't have any children. Well, maybe not, obviously, but, you know, I do not. The voice generation, like the voice models um, that CapCut lets you use for free are so good and so accurate um, that, yeah, it's, it's amazing. But so then if that's the case and I have my phone with me every day, and I have CapCut free to use, 
then why do I not make something every day? Or once a week? Now, it's not like I have a lot going on in my life, to be honest. I work. Um, I generally at work for about, I don't know, eight to ten hours a day. Um, I'll get home, I will watch YouTube and eat and then I'm pretty much, that's me done during the weeknight. Unless of course I got, uh, you know, an invitation to dinner or something like that, but that's, you know, few and far between, that's, that's not the norm. The norm is go home, eat, blah, blah, blah. Actually, the norm was go home, go to the gym, but uh, that's been, um, that's been hard to pull off too, uh, recently. I've gone to the gym probably like two times in two weeks. Um, which is just very lucky for me that I was going every day for uh, about five months. So my general strength level um, is has been raised, like my base strength level has been raised. So it doesn't hurt too bad when I go to the gym after not going for a long time. Oh, yikes. Okay, anyway, <laughs> fucking cut that. Um, so, I guess in, in saying, um, you were mentioning the gym, and not going. I guess that's the um, that's not the that is another example of of this of this inactivity um, that I'm finding it really hard to shake. So, is it a video about? being stuck in a rut creatively and therefore finding it difficult to make um, videos or any content um, or is it really more about being stuck in for better for you know for lack of a better word stuck in a funk um, because the same way I feel about making videos uh, is kind of the same way I feel about going to the gym and also making music I haven't made any beats or you know picked up a guitar or anything for a long time now So, there is one thing in my life uh, that I don't have, and that is a wife. Now, I am, <laughs> how do I say this? I am, dude, I'm in love, alright, I have been in love with the same person, uh, oh man, 
I don't know, 14 years. But that is not reciprocated at all. So is it is it love? Really? I mean that that's the question, right? Because um I would think a lot of people would probably say to be in love it would mean to be reciprocated. So maybe I'm maybe I'm in love. I'm I love this person. Um and the honestly the thing I want most in the world and it's t actually crazy for me to say um but I would I would be homeless in the hills uh hunting my own food and you know or living in the dirt, I would happily do that if this person was my wife. I'd give up everything. I'm currently riding to work on a four and a half thousand dollar scooter with an action camera and a wireless mic, my cell phone in my pocket and a podcast playing in to my helmet through a Cardo tool pack. Uh, there's two bottles of perfume in my backpack. Each of those is $125. I'd have a lot of things. I have a bunch of things. Um, but I would give all of those things up to be this person's husband uh, because all those material things uh, don't fill the the void like the hole that I feel in my life but Herein lies the problem. It's very hard, if not impossible, for me on my own to. Uh, I, I can, I can, I can identify that there is a hole, but I can't reliably on my own. Um, describe or see the shape of the hole it's a uh, it's a it's a nebulous thing to me it's there but I don't I can't um, I don't know how accurate I can be about the shape of it and what it would take to fill that so even though for the longest time I've kind of understood um, the situation to me needing that that person in that relationship to feel complete and to feel whole um, and now okay I guess, alright, so this bit, I don't say lightly, um, I understand it's probably, it could sound bad, but what if my marriage to this person was the same as all the other things I have, in that eventually, um, having that relationship, um, and being a part of it what if that becomes the next thing that I 
don't do. You know? And I'm I'm pretty I'm pretty all in on marriage, right? Like I'm not trying to I'm not just trying to hop in, hop out on a relationship to, you know, I don't know, have sex and whatever. I um I would go into this marriage fully expecting that this is the only person that I will be with um, until we both die because that's marriage that's how marriage works um, and so I hate to think um, that I would devalue um, what that is and what that means by I don't know Put in this helmet. That's just me grabbing some breakfast. So the point I'm making is that, well, the point I'm trying to make, or even really the question I'm trying to ask, is that even with the importance that I place personally on um, marriage and the commitment to um, the commitment to marriage um, there's no way that I can guarantee that uh, the feelings don't change um, I become uh, inattentive even though I personally think that um, the real danger for me would be to be uh, overbearing um, in that like, I don't know I think about this person constantly I always want to be around them um, I want to know that they're okay um, so on and so forth. So I, I, I can see how um, I can see how being married would uh, potentially have the um, the chance of increasing that. <laughs> how 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 much uh, you know? You, how much more protective and just, you know, in your face would I be if, uh, if we were actually married? I'm bad enough as it is now. I'm also very jealous, which is not a great uh, quality. Um, ramble about my fucking shortcomings as a person so this is what happens when I don't make a video for a while is get on the internet and ramble about crap well no I take that back actually yes it's a ramble no it's not crap because it is kind of it's in, it's important because I, it gives me an understanding of what, um, of, well, hopefully it gives me an understanding of how I am doing mentally and emotionally if it comes to, um, if it comes to some point. 
Dang, that makes no sense. What am I saying? I'm saying... Talking about things... Um, talking about things this way... I guess is a lot like talk therapy in that... You can talk yourself or, uh, past presuppositions that you might have. And maybe bring up concepts or, or alternative concepts that um, that you hadn't really thought of before and possibly make things clearer. But then also, obviously, if you're doing it by yourself, then there's a chance that you talk yourself into believing something that isn't true. So then it becomes Schrodinger's marriage in which um, either you'll get married and you'll be happy and obviously you'll have the same problems that everybody has in marriage but on the other hand um, you could get married and then uh, do the same thing that you've been doing lose interest and lose focus and um, let it go to ruin so I don't know man I don't know what to say Anyway, that was a ride to work. <laughs> See you in the next one.